Okay, here we are making up for, I guess, the cutoff video. I don't know what happened, if it was my phone or just did not get all uploaded or what, but I was on the percentage of the battery, the screen where it shows the percentage. Obviously, we were at 73 before we're going up. I mean, it's, it's later in the day. So that's just the percentage of your battery that you got left. This is the actual voltage of the battery, same as on the first screen that we looked at. This is the total amps that have gone or been drawn from the load. This is the amount of amp hours that uh, the solar panels have produced since midnight. That's the amount of amp hours the load has consumed since midnight. That's the temperature. It's kind of high, middle of the afternoon. F uh, 15 is the error, no, 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 the, uh, the load mode. I know that doesn't make any sense, but the, the load terminals have different, uh, you can set timers and, and re or, or on and off or dimmers or blah, blah, blah. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can customize in there. But for my application, I found it's just easier to put it on 15, which is manual mode. So I just turn the lights on and off when I want to instead of having it like on a set schedule. So that's all that is. I think there's only 15 to choose from, but it's all in the manual and the, the explained what the different timers and stuff are. But that's the load load mode. Load mode. This is the error screen. Um, if this this uh, flashing red light next to the caution sign, or not red, but green next to the uh, caution sign was black, uh, blinking, that means there's an error. So you come to this error screen, and it'll say error one through error twelve, I believe. It, you know, E one, E two, E three for all the different errors that it could possibly have. Um, and so you can look th these error codes up either online or in the actual manual. E0 is just no no uh, warning, nothing. The system's working like it should, and I don't have any uh, faults, I guess. And so that's where you'd find the code and then to go look up if, if something was flashing or something wasn't working right. Um, but then that just brings us back to the original screen that we started that other video with, and I apologize again for getting cut off, but uh, here is just the follow-up through that. And if I believe I showed you the connections again on the actual batteries. So these these little tiny guys are the 10 gauge, 10 gauge wire coming from the uh, charge controller. It seems kind of weird that it's that small compared to these huge other cords. Um, but that should only be no more than 25 volts should be going through this, uh, you know, and you just don't need a big wire for that. I did put an inline filter or filter fuse down here. Um, cheap one you can get at the, gro or at the grocery store at the auto parts store there's a 20 amp fuse right in the middle of it uh, the big old cables are uh, the two watt cables that go, go to my uh, inverter you know they're really short they just go straight into the inverter there uh, they are two watt and so much bigger because there's a potential of 300 amps that could possibly go through that I don't think I'd ever physically be able to get there but the possibility is there and so why not just have a, a cable big enough to handle them um, that's basically it for the charge controller we've got the regulated electricity that the charge controller is taking from the unregulated solar panels and turning it into the voltage that we want and then pumping that voltage straight into these Nissan Leaf batteries.